Welcome to another live location visit in Boreham Wood. This is uh, Bullhead Road we're on. They've used this quite extensively for filming scenes in on the buses, the, especially mutiny on the buses. Now, if you remember the scene when the motorbike, the motorbike uh, uh, split and left Olive in the manhole cover and it runs away with the tent, sh shrouded in the tent. Now, Oddly enough, they seem to have done a sort of like split filming here because they, you can see the tent over the motorbike and it runs into this uh, telegraph pole right in front of us. This telegraph pole was positioned outside number six Bullhead Road. We know it's here because you can tell by the backdrop of the houses in the background that I picked up on the other uh, week there when I was watching the scene again. But the odd thing is, I walk back up the street now and when you see Arthur uh, being helped uh, by Stan and Jack, they, they pull the workman off of them. The motorbike, and, the, the motorbike was actually uh, up against this telegraph pole up here. So they, done a, they switched it around for the only reason I can think of is it was more convenient because it was only a matter of a couple of seconds away from Stan and Jack running down to meet them, whereas they would have had a longer run down the road. But I still don't really see that as an issue because they could have just stopped filming. But anyway, this is what they've done. Uh, so the motorbike, they, is actually crashed up when you see them getting rescued, um, Arthur. And we know it's here. I'll show you it from this angle here because of the house in the background, it's absolutely identical. The wall, sadly, has just newly been changed, but it was identical up until about maybe uh, six months, a year ago. That's just a newly put in wall. We know that by the buildings in the background, the garage part, the it's now been changed into an extension. It's all identical in the film. So they used two telegraph poles for some reason for that particular scene. Now I can go and show you where the uh, you also get another part in the film from Mutiny on the Buses is when the bus is coming down the hill and he stands trying to get the dartboard off the bonnet of the engine. And that was filmed, the bus was just coming down around about here because you see these bungalows then go into the two-storey houses in the background. That You see them in the background. And I'm just going to take you out and show you the manhole cover. Dodging the traffic as well. So there by the side of the ambulance is the manhole cover there that Olive stuck down. I'll go around the other side of it just to let you see it again and get a little bit closer up view. Because you do get another view when he's when she's actually in there and the, the workman pushes it up and you see it from the ground level. So that would be like around about here looking across to the other side of the road if you see what I mean. So, they filmed more up Bullhead Road as well. Won't go into that just now on this video because there are so many uh, parts from the bus getting towed that they filmed on this street. Right at the very start of the scene when the bus is getting towed, you see it right down at the foot of the, uh, the road. So that would have been filmed, basically, camera would have been positioned Around about uh, here, I would say, because you see those houses on the other side of the road as the bus is towing the motorbike. Now, there's been a lot of um, building work at the foot of the road there. Uh, back in the film, there is a point when you can see there was a college once stood there, the Oaklands College. That's been demolished flat stand there now. And on this side of the road, you can see down there, you can see... Um, more flats have been built. They used to just be um, a run of more houses like there are further up the road. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I couldn't get a better look at the uh, manhole cover for you, but um, that's down to where the ambulance is parked, unfortunately. So I'll say goodbye for now.